house. Now, apparently, Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum have claimed that the PBC Showtime will be out of business within the next year. In other words, Showtime will follow HBO out of boxing within the next year. That's a bold, bold statement, but I can see certainly why that they're both saying this. Now, thank you, Alejandro, for bringing this to my attention. So, the reason that they're saying this is because, obviously, Eddie Hearn, part of The Zone, is an online app. Bob Arum now has the ESPN app. The Zone, $10. ESPN, $5. Very, very manageable fees, right? Now, I don't know how much uh, Showtime is. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's very similar to what we have here in in the UK with Sky. So we have to uh, purchase Sky and then we have to purchase on top of it Sky Sports and any pay-per-views, again, we have to pay on top of that. So when it comes down to finances, in this day and age, everybody looking for a bargain. If you can save a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars here and there, you'll do that, especially when you're probably going to get more for your money, if that makes sense. So it wouldn't surprise me if Showtime does go out of business as far as boxing and that goes and the PBC is going to have to find a new home. But will it be within the next year? Probably not, to be fair, because as far as I'm aware, again, I'm going just by memory on this one, I think with Al Heyman signing an extension with Showtime and of course joining up with Fox Sports and Fox Sports 1 as well, isn't it like a three-year deal or something? So I would imagine that they probably do a minimum of whatever the contract is. So if it's three years, then it will carry on for three years. If it's five years and so on. So no, I don't think it'll be a year, but I, I can see why they're saying it. Now, I know a lot of people saying, but we don't like apps. Who watches boxing on an app? We want to sit down on our TV and watch it on our TV. But again, you see, people, listen, I'm a little guilty of it myself. Okay. I'm pretty old school. I'm not old, but I'm old school. Okay. Um, my memory goes back to, what, late 80s and 90s. That's like my memory of going back. So, of course, this is pre-internet. This is pre-social media. This is pre-mobile phone, all that kind of thing. So, of course, I'm used to watching the old ones, like Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson and, and, and so-and-so on TV. And, yes, the TV experience is awesome. But don't forget, with this day and age, with the technology, internet is ruling the damn world. You cannot walk outside your front door without seeing somebody tapping in to their phone. People don't, just don't really talk anymore. Everything's on their phone. You're listening to me on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop. Some have it on their TV. If you listen to me on TV, pick it up. Now, everything is digital now. Everything. And a lot of people who say, well, we don't want an app. And that's because you, maybe you've got old school where sports fans now are all the young kids coming through, the teenagers, the lads in their 20s. They're all coming through where everything is digital. They don't want to sit down on terrestrial TV. They want to watch things on their phone, on their tablet, on their laptop. But again, with these apps, with the Zone, with the ESPN app, you can get them directly from your phone or your tablet straight to your TV. It's not difficult to do. Every phone, every smartphone has that capability to put anything that you have on your phone onto your TV. So you're still watching it on TV. And this is how people want it. People don't want to sit down anymore and watch this because I see like a lot of comments, we don't want an app. Why do we want to have an app for? That's because you have an old school mentality. Unfortunately, Again, like I said, I am kind of part of that club because I am kind of old school in the sense of that's what I'm used to, okay? I'm not used to the apps, okay? It's like my wife has so many different apps and things on her phone and my eldest son as well has so many different things. You know, he's 13 years old and he has so many different things and he's messing about and I haven't got a damn clue what it is that these people are even doing, okay? But this is, this is the world we live in. It really is. The digital era has been here for quite some time and a lot of us still haven't embraced it fully. We really haven't. But the youth of today, God, I sound like my damn grandfather, eh? but the youth of today is digital. Everything is digital now. Everything. So yes, an app is accessible to everybody. Everybody's got a smartphone. Everybody's got an iPad or these kind of devices. Everybody has internet capabilities in their home, 
in their pocket, in their car, in their workplace. Everybody has access to these things. So, of course, with the TV, if you're out and about doing shopping, for example, and you're panicking, oh crap, I'm going to be late because the wife just keeps on walking around damn Primark and won't damn well chew something, trying on hundreds of different clothes and not bought a single damn thing yet, and I'm missing the boxing. Well, open up your phone and you can watch it while she's in there. Walk into Burger King. You know, there's no restriction. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, as long as you have internet on your phone, wherever it may be, you can not miss anything. And that's what people want nowadays. The digital era is here and it's improving even more. Imagine how it's going to be in like another 10 years' time. So unless the PBC and Showtime go digital at some point soon, yes, they could very well be the next HBO, as far as boxing and that's concerned. Because as far as I'm aware, I think Showtime don't just do boxing, right? I think they do other things. Listen, I'm not clued up with what happens in the States there, okay? But I understand why Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn are saying this. Because the boxing fans of today, the min sorry, the majority, a very, very high percentage, are all embracing the digital technology. The app is important to them. If you're 30 years old or older, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, etc., you're stuck in the old school, right? But unfortunately, as a minority, it really is a minority. So Showtime and PBC do need to get up to date. Sky Sports as well. Let's not leave them out. BT Sport as well. Now Sky Sports has been going on for years here in the UK. As far back as I can remember, Sky Sports has been there. And at some point, these guys are also going to have to go digital. They're going to have to do it. These people are going to have to do apps. Now, I, I know Sky Sports does have an app. But for me, if they could just do that app the same way that DAZN does, so you can just have boxing on there and pay a monthly subscription, big up, I'll do it. And if it is there, and I'm unaware of it, please let me know. Because I quite happily been off Sky altogether and just get the app so the digital era is here and it's here to stay and people need to really start accepting it and you know Al Heyman and the PBC and whatever these are like the last line of the old school they really are Sky Sports as well they are the last line of old school but Sky Sports are developing all the time and no we can see it I mean, for me, with Sky Sports, they have um, the channel Sky Sports Formula One. Sky Sports Golf. I mean, why the hell would you have... I mean, are these sports really that popular that you need an entire TV channel for that? Boxing is lifting off. Sky Sports need to do Sky Sports Boxing. They have the YouTube page, but they need to do Sky Sports Boxing on the TV if they want to keep customers. Otherwise, people will start changing their... IP addresses and things like that, whatever else it may be. Is it v VP or... Oh, see, again, digitally, I'm crap. Okay, but you can do something on your laptop to make it look like you're not in the UK, but in fact, you could be stateside, so you can just get the zone. And Sky Sports have a lot of people who just have Sky Sports for boxing. Not interested in football, not interested in golf, Formula One, tennis, ping pong, whatever the hell. They just want boxing. So Sky Sports need to get up to date as well. So it's not exclusive to Showtime, but I certainly understand why Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum are saying that Showtime could soon follow HBO. I don't agree with them if they are saying over a year. I don't agree with that a bit because whatever the contract is that they have, I fully expect them to fulfill that contract. But again, I think that while that's going on, they're only going to really be keeping the old school because that's what old school want. Old school don't understand the apps. I don't understand the damn apps. I've only just got, got used to having Google on my phone. You know? And uh, YouTube on my phone. You start throwing other things at me. I'm like, what the hell? I'm having to get give my 13 year old to give me a bloody crash course in it. So, yeah. I understand why people say that an app is not going to work. But an app is going to work. Everything is app related. If you want Amazon, there's an app. You want YouTube, there's an app. There's an app for anything. You can do shopping in Tesco's, Sainsbury's, wherever, using an app. I just wish that Primark had an app so my wife didn't drag me around the damn shops. 
Maybe they do, and she's unaware of it. Actually, I might have a, have like a little look at that and uh, suggest it. So, yeah, I understand why Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum are saying it. These guys are recognising that the boxing fans of today rely on technology. They rely on the internet. They rely on the apps. They don't care about sitting down and watching TV. And again, it's convenient as well, because how many of us, and I'm in the same boat here as well, that if I want to watch boxing on the TV, my wife and my children don't like boxing. They can't stand it. Well, my five-year-old, he likes putting on boxing gloves and hitting me with them. But that's about as far as it goes. None, none of them want to sit down and watch boxing. So I've got to try and convince them and kick them out to go upstairs and watch movies on, on, on like TVs upstairs or TV in the dining room, etc. So I can have it because my, my uh, sky is exclusive to the living room. So if I had a DAZN app, a Sky Sports app, for example, where I, where I can just watch boxing, I can take my device to any room in the house where there's a TV, I can go into like, like my little boy's bedroom and wirelessly connect it to my son's TV and watch boxing in his room if I really had to. I can go next door and use theirs, whatever it, else it may be. So everything now is app driven. Everything. So yeah, I think unless Showtime start coming up with their own app, maybe they already do, I don't know. But um, I haven't heard anything about it. So unless they start I don't know, coming out with an app of their own, yeah, it will go out of business the same way HBO has. As far as boxing is concerned, it will. But anyway, let's see. Drop your thoughts below about it. Click that thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.